my wife is my manager and, and she's in touch with her peers in the management world. And we have a good friend who's very plugged in guy and he called us up and he said, I don't trust this. Somebody made this up. It's too perfect, you know, that there could be such a band. And, and then when he heard the music, he said, this is incredible. The music's phenomenal. You know, how could this be? We know everything that's going on in music. We're, we're plugged in, we're in touch. And it was true. When I listened to the music, it all made perfect sense to me. It didn't come as a shock to me because um, these guys were clearly influenced by this concept of high energy. I mean, they were, and the thing is, they could really play. They had chops, they, they were formidable musicians, they practiced their instruments, and they were into really playing their instruments, which to me sets them apart from the rest of the punk rock movement because the idea was, you don't really have to know how to play. It's all spirit and you just get with your friends and you make up your songs and it's not about playing, which is a different, there's a, there's a line there because I come from the school that says it matters if you know how to play and clearly Death knew how to play. They were players and they were playing high energy, uh, defiant, rebellious music and they were from Detroit. So I know the influences that they had because it's the same influences I had. So I know that what, that's what was important to them. It was important to be able to play. You know, that's how you, that was your mark. You know, that's where the bar was set. You know, can you play? And they could. <laughs> I don't doubt that the kind of music they played and, and who they were conflicted with their immediate culture. You know, the rhythm and blues music, um, Motown, soul music. Um, the music they were playing was for, for a different, different audience. Um, had Death got through to the Grandy Ballroom, they would have been embraced. They absolutely would have ruled because we would all been in the front row screaming for them because that's what we're all looking for. Some people that are badass that can really play. It's just one of those things of history that, that damn, you know, too bad because they would have killed. They would have killed and everybody would have loved them.